There was a guy who was very, very rich, but he was very stingy, huh? a miserly man. So when he died, he had hundreds of thousands of dollars at that time, gold pieces. Yeah. He had a lot of houses, a lot of land, a lot of buildings, and he rented them out and collected more money all the time. Mm. You know, landlord. <laughs> And then he was thinking to himself, okay, now I have everything. Maybe I should just relax for 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 a year, you know, and not think of you know, making money anymore. Huh? My God. If a miserly man can think like that, he's already a little enlightened, huh? So he started stopping, you know, doing business to relax for a year. But as soon as he wanted to relax like that, to live comfortably, easily, leisurely. And then the angel of death came and dragged him away. Oh, he was very, very afraid and reluctant to part with life and all the money and the wealth that he had accumulated. So he said, oh, please, please, let me uh, live for a little longer to enjoy, you know, a little bit of what I have been working for. And the angel of death said, nope. And then later he wanted to bribe him. He said, okay, if you let me live, <laughs> yeah, uh, one more month I will give you one-third of my possessions then. How about that? Do you think the angel of death would be tempted by that? <laughs> think he can make use of his money? <laughs> oh, no, eh? you are so wise. <laughs> so the angel of death say what? What did he say then? Huh? What? Is that no use for this material world? He just said, nope. <laughs> One word. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so uh, the poor miserly man tried still to bribe him and say, okay, if you leave me, maybe to live two more weeks, then I give you half of my possessions. How does that sound? The angels say, what? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> <Is that>? nope. <laughs> Not interested. Just nope. Okay. And then. The men still argue, you know, okay, okay, please, just let me live one more day, yeah? And then I will give you all my possessions. Now he realized that even if he dies, he won't be able to use any of this anyway. So might as well give it all to him to live one more day. And the angel of death thought a little bit, and what did he say? Nope. <laughs> what, yes, who oh, said that? <laughs> Who's the idiot? What for? Huh? Oh my God, I can't believe it. What would he say? What can the angel of death do with the money? Huh? It's nothing to do but to continue the story I thought. You might say yes. Oh, he would say yes, then the story would continue? <laughs> joking. <laughs> okay, so he said nope again, okay? What would he say? Huh? Tell me again, what will the angel of death say in that situation? No. Nope. Right. Now the miserly rich man realized that with all his wealth, he cannot buy anything at all at the time of death. So he said to the angel of death, Okay, I understand now, but please let me live just a few moments longer so I can write something down. Yeah. So the angel of death said, okay. Mm. <laughs> he said, he said, yes. <laughs> so he sat down, grabbed a pen, got a notebook and wrote down something like, man, he didn't say woman, eh? Sorry. <laughs> man, <laughs> make use of your life. Yeah. I could buy not one hour for three hundred thousand dollars. I mean, Go pieces. So make sure that you realize the value of your time. You understand now? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> okay. 